Hey guys, I don't know who used this term, gap babies, but um, I heard it somewhere, but I, I call them gap babies or filler babies, you know, or you know how like sometimes you are just craving or I shouldn't say craving, it's not food, um, or you know, just wanting to have a particular style baby. Like say for instance, like I was wanting a silicone baby, full body for a while nothing was really coming out nothing that was like drawing my attention in that gave me a feeling that I could make it look you know realistic after painting or you know whatever um and so when you when you do that you end up buying stuff that you typically wouldn't necessarily be drawn to um and I, I think this is how people miss out on their actual dream baby or, you know, desired baby uh, high on their list baby because we do these fillers or gap babies. We, we end up just settling for something else um, a lot of times. But sometimes there's a flip side to it. Um, sometimes you surprise yourself and some of the things that you think are so important don't be as important after all. So let me explain what I mean. Typically when I look at a full body baby, the number one thing that I look at is the body style. I like realistically sculpted body styles. Um, then there's the hands, the feet, well, the feet, the hands. Um... And then I look at the face, kind of backwards. I know for most collectors, look at the face and then the rest. Um, I was drawn to this baby face first. So I think I was so sold on the face. And then I requested a movement video and I think I I was sold after that. Um, I love when it comes to silicone and if I got to paint it, I love particular uh, pores. So um, the fact that, that he was being poured by Maria Grover was a plus. So I liked his feet. I really, I really liked his feet. He has cute feet. I'll show you guys. So he has really cute feet. Um, actually, I think he's got my favorite feet. You got lower, little fuzzies. So he has some of my favorite feet. Um, painting wise and the sculpt. <laughs> I think uh, Brayden has my t t best feet to date, painting wise. Though, I think I I think I nailed that. I did that, honey. I did that. That baby got so many colors in his feet. It's crazy um, to get it to look the way that it does in person. I don't know how much it shows in ca on camera, but this baby, I love his feet. He's like. One of my second baby's um, feet. I love, uh, I love painting baby feet. So anyway, so feet. So he checked off with the feet. Um, body style, there was things that I liked about it and things that I didn't love. Um, I was a little worried about the broadness of the shoulders. Um, funny thing though, and I've mentioned this before, my son has very broad shoulders. He his sh he has very very broad shoulders, and he's such a thin, you know, young man. Um, but he has very broad shoulders, so yeah, he had big shoulders, and that don't that's not nice when it's coming out the woo ha. Anyhow, y'all ain't asked for that kind of education today, so I ain't gonna give it to you. But his boy bits look realistic. That's a plus because most people do these Behringer body bottoms. And I'm just like, how can you sculpt everything else 
so well and not be able to scope that baby. Like, make it make sense. It just irritates me. But anyway, um, the other thing, I thought the fist was okay. Um, his hands, I didn't know if I would like his hands, to be honest. Um, I think they are okay. Um, and I don't think it's anything wrong with his hands. Um, just not nothing to be like, oh my God, you know, type thing. Um, so, but his face, I really love his face. Um, head shape, not my typical, oh my gosh, I love the head shape. It's just to plain head shape. I can appreciate it when it comes to rooting. It shouldn't take me as long though. Um, but cute nose, beautiful lips, and I love that he sucked, you know, he, well, he, he does it sometime. Or he could suck in his little lip. Um, I like that. So overall... I thought, hmm, not sure if this is going to be a keeper or not. This was and when he was blanking and I was just like, oh my God, I love the way he posed. And I loved his, the way his back was. That's another thing. I really love this baby back and the way that she sculpted the back because it's, it, it allows him to like cuddle. He has this like dip in. Um, he has a push stomach, but he has a very like flat dip back and it, it just it allows him to be so super cuddly and so he surprised me because the things that I thought mattered the most didn't matter at all and so um I think Don Donna Freya did a wonderful job on sculpting him and I like her sculpting um it was my first baby from her um i knew that she had been around i'd heard that she'd been around in the community for a while but i not really know much about her or her work or anything like that but this baby is a favorite definitely a favorite um he just he poses so naturally he curves in so naturally like, he doesn't have to have hand mitts on. He doesn't have to, you know, he doesn't have to be covered up in any type of way because it flows. And he didn't he didn't have armatures. He wasn't available to get armatures. But he he poses nicely without the armatures. The, did I say armatures? The armatures. <laughs> so, sometime, every now and then, you get a baby that's a gap baby or a filler baby that surprises you and really turns out to be like the one. Um, no surprise that I really love his skin tone too. He is, I think, beautifully painted, but not my best painted baby. That's just my opinion, but I'm real critical of myself. I think Nori is my best painted baby. That's my, that's, my personal opinion. I mean, and I'm just saying overall, like, just the the flow of everything. I just love the way Nori turned out. But he's definitely one of my best babies or favorite and favorite babies. But I was in a phase where I was trying out different techniques and stuff. So, um, he's he has a different... With a different technique but he he is what you see on camera I don't edit then that's another thing I don't edit my baby's photos or videos or any of that I just you know I show them for what they are because I don't want people to assume that my work is super flawless and it's all this and that and then get it and be like this doesn't look the same. So I don't edit or anything like that. Now their their coloring and stuff do change depending on what lighting they're in. I don't purposely sit them in dark lighted lit rooms or stuff and take photos just to 
give an illusion of something. Um, I don't pay any type of camera tricks with my babies. Um, but like any, any baby that you get, it's going to be a difference when you get them in person. Rather it's better or not as nice or um, almost the same. A little difference in the coloring. You might think they're a little bit lighter. They might be darker. You may think they're darker. They might be a little lighter. Um, it's just different when you see them in person. The camera can be your best friend and your worst enemy at the same time. Um, me and one of my friends was actually talking about this the other day about how, you know, you can look at the variations between, you know, say, you know, there are certain babies in the community that has been passed on from mommy to mommy to mommy. And the baby looks better in one mommy's photos and then you see the other mommy photo and you're like, oh my God, the baby is trash. And so, and then you see another baby, the same baby in another mama's photos and you're like, oh my God, that baby really is nice. It's like, so, um, babies can definitely be, you know, this, this hobby is so crazy because you literally is re you're really taking a, 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 a chance, a gamble, a risk when you're buying, um, these babies because, you really don't know what you're going to get until you get it. And especially with silicone. I think silicone is the most, the most <sighs> risky purchase. Because there's so much that with silicone. So much. It's so much with silicone. In fact, only because I cannot root vinyl is the only reason I've been selling more silicone. Because... If it was left up to me, and it, I'm eventually probably going to get to that point where I just paint silicone just for myself. Because silicone is just so crazy. Like, you don't know the softness. Like, I could be like, oh, he's so soft. And you can get him like, it's not that soft. Even though he is. He wrinkles. Look, his little thighs wrinkle everything. I know you guys can't see that, but they wrinkle. Um, But the softness, the flexibility, the way the head turns and... Um, you know, if they can do my little scrunch and tooted and booted pose that I like, um, it's just so much stuff that you just don't know until you get them in person. Even when I'm trying out a new sculptor's work and the kit, the pour, I'm always like on edge. I'm so nervous, um, to open that baby up because... I don't know if it's going to be translucent or if it's going to be a crazy awkward color. Um I don't I don't know what I'm what I'm what I'm going to get until I get it. Because people take photos and they use filters or they be under weird lighting or no lighting at all and you just don't know. So um and the, and the silicone is not not cheap, you know. Um you're in this you spend thousands on just the blank you know which is why you know I've gotten to a point where I don't mind spending three grand on a blank kit but if I got it but it's just not my it's just not my go-to if that makes sense just simply because Unless it's one that I am very familiar with, the poor, the sculptor's work, I can't afford to take that risk. And then when you paint it, in order for you to get paid, that kit is automatically got to be around five grand or so. So if you don't like it or it's not a nice <sighs> pour or, you know, what most collectors want... You're in a bad position when you've already had to pop out over three grand for it. You know what I mean? So, if it's not a sought after sculptor, you're in trouble. So, there's that. So, sometimes, like, you know, I would, I'm, I really, really regret not being able to get to a doll show this year because I would love to see certain particular sculptors' kits in blank form and to see the, the level of softness. Oh, I, 
ahead and make another video.